Hey everyone, this is Chris. I'm still technically working this weekend, unfortunately, so we're gonna try and record this real quick and then hope that I will find some time to edit it. But uh, we just got a new pack and there are some, well, I guess actually there's, there's one really excellent Sylvan card in the pack. I you to pick up all your Sylvan allies and play it again. So I built a pretty standard Sylvan deck. Eleborn, Galadriel. Uh, Beefer is hero number three, allows me to play Unlikely Friendship, which I hand right now, and gives us access to lore for some of, I think, the best Sylvan cards. So good combo right there. Uh, and we are going up against Danger in Darwinian, which feels a lot like Steward's Fear, except it doesn't absolutely destroy you for playing Sylvan decks like the Steward's Fear does. Uh, with that being said, got all my setup here, 27 threat to start. Let's go. Draw a card for the round. Ooh, and that is perfect. I'm going to play this Unlikely Friendship first, drawing a card. Normally, Caliborn has the hardest time with resources in this deck. Uh, so we'll give that to him. I will immediately play the Elven King on Kettleborn. I'm not planning on, like, suiting him up to make him Super Voltron or anything like that. The main thing that I want is to be able to pick up Galleon every round. It's basically what I'm going to do. So here's a Galleon for free, which allows me to pick him back up and play the Tree People. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, of these, I will take Galadriel's Handmaiden, drop my threat to 26. I saw the host of Galadrim in the top five, so we're not going to draw that yet, but maybe soon. Uh, it's also important for me to remember, while I loop through Galleon multiple times over and over again, uh, that Galadriel allows me to quest with new allies every round without exhausting them. Mostly doesn't matter for him, but it does matter for other Sylvan allies, which I might forget about. So we're going to play Galleon again. Uh... Given all these cards that are left in my hand, move a resource from Galadriel to Biffer. Or here, put a Galadrim Minstrel in play. Five. Uh, only event in the top five is Elf Guide, which is effectively another way to abuse Galleon. But we're going to hold on to that for a moment. I think at this point, I'm just going to hold on to this resource on Celeborn. Uh, go to questing. Um, I do have Nenya in my hand. I could... I don't know why I'm even considering this. I have so much willpower for this first round, it doesn't matter. Right, we're going to use Galadriel to exhaust, reduce my threat, draw a card. Second Nath guide is great. All right, moving on to questing. I have three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, up against three in the staging area. Overwhelmed, All right? Doomed one. Enemies engaged with me can't take any damage, which does nothing. So I counted this a second ago, 3, 5, 8, 10, 12, against 3 makes 9 progress on the main quest, uh, which is a little overkill. That's all right. I will travel to the side street, forces me to shuffle this counter card back into the deck. Probably actually beneficial because this deck usually stays low threat and doesn't engage enemies unless it absolutely has to. So, until we get a location, there's a CD Tavern. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. I think that'll about do it for the round, aside from picking up a galleon with Kelleborn. Moving on to the next. Still at 27 threat. It's pretty good. Uh, most of the enemies in this encounter set don't engage you until you get to 28 or a little more. Uh, I think there's one Sergi guy that engages immediately, but he's pretty small, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm just going to shuffle my Sylvans down here so that I can more easily remember which ones are new. We will play a Galleon. Use two for a Nath guide, choosing Biffer. Yeah, now I'm going to Elf Guide to pick up Galleon. Put a resource back on Kettleborn. And replay Galleon one more time. I will put Nenya on Galadriel just in case. My questing is a little bit weaker now. But let's go ahead and quest. So. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve again, up against two in the staging area. Up against three in the staging area is nine progress. I'm not going to track it on the quest anymore because I'm just never going to remove all that. So, side street is explored. Don't want to deal with unwelcome travelers, so I think we're just probably going to leave it. I will travel to CD Tavern. Allows me to pick and choose an encounter card that will get revealed. And it says to put it face down, but honestly, I think that's kind of dumb. Since I know what they are. Um, I need locations, which I think probably makes this the correct choice. As soon as we travel, or as soon as we clear CD Tavern, we're going to advance to stage two, and we're going to reveal the catacombs. Which is a big threat location, but since the quest progresses based on clearing them out, and in single player, having an encounter deck that is about a third locations, uh, you can get sort of stalled, just waiting for the right locations to pop off of the encounter deck. And I don't want to have to deal with that. Uh, so, didn't need to use Nenya, so we'll Elven King to return Galleon and Red Celeborn. Use Galadriel to draw a card and drop my threat. Well, now my hand is basically all duplicates, so that's fun. Uh, but I think I'll be okay. End of the round. Remain at 27 threat. I'll draw a card. Two, two. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, definitely going to play Galleon. I am going to use Galadriel immediately to drop my threat and draw a card. I can spend two off Kelborn, put a Greenwood Archer in play, ready Galadriel in case I need to Nenya again. It does leave me short on resources for playing other things, so this Nath guide will have to wait. Oh well. All right, questing four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One more time. I think I will use Elrond's Council to make it 13 and drop my threat just a little bit lower. So 13 up against none. Up against one. So I make 12 progress. Clears the CD Tavern. Gonna do a bunch of stuff in order. And it's probably gonna be the wrong order. So Catacombs, City Forum. Advance past stage one. And the light just turned on on my face cam and I'm not sure why, but that's fun. 
All right, the Shadow of Mordor. It's me one random plot card. It is Sauron worship. All right, if my threat ever gets to 49, I lose the game. Uh, given that we've been stable so far, I think we're probably going to be okay. And on 2B, after the active location leaves play, uh, we reveal the top card of the encounter deck, and I need to clear four locations in order to advance. Uh, which do I want? Do I want to Catacombs, or do I want to travel to City Forum? I think I can quest past Catacombs pretty easily, so I will travel to City Forum. Raise my threat by one. Use Elven King to return Galleon to my hand. On that, I think we're done. Sitting at 25 threat. Fresh all these allies. Take up to two on Sauron worship. Does mean that we can't hang around forever, but the pace that we're going, I'm not too worried about that. We might run out of locations, but that is sort of a known problem. Greenwood Defender, I like you, but I don't have the resources. I'm going to play Galleon. I'm not going to use Galadriel yet as much as I want to. I'm just going to hang out for a little bit. Uh, so... Five in the staging area right now. Quest four. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, eleven up against five. All right. Eleven up against eight is three. Uh, I will use Galadriel and Nenya to make it seven progress total. So we clear the city forum. Adding one token to the Shadow of Mordor. Reveal the top card of the encounter deck. It is a seedy tavern. All right, well now Unwelcome Travelers is pretty bad, uh, but I think that's okay. I will travel to the Catacombs. Discard top card of the encounter deck. That was definitely not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. Um, so that might be the end of us, depending on if I draw something that I can play. Well, can turn Galleon to my hand to ready Caliborn. Treacherous Easterling gets a shadow card. And with Caliborn, hope I don't get anything too nasty. Shadow effect is either raise your threat by two or attacking enemy cannot take damage this round. Um, I'd only be able to put one damage on him anyway, so I'm going to leave it. Caliborn will take one damage. Not the worst, not the best. And we're going to move into refresh. Twenty-six. Please let me draw a card that I can play this round. That would be nice. Raising my threat puts a resource token on this treacherous Easterling. Moving into next round. Well, that actually could be really good, depending on what I draw. A bunch of resources right now. So, uh, I'm going to spend two for Gladrum Minstrel. Looking at top five for an event. The only one is Host of Galadrim, so I guess we have to take it, and we might as well take advantage of it as best we can. Now, there's a bunch of Sylvan allies in place, so actually I think that this will be quite good.
Uh, I am going to get a Greenwood Archer back in. So I will use Galadriel immediately to reduce my threat. Draw a card. All right, when I have another Greenwood Archer, which is pretty good. Play Galleon first, but it, it just doesn't matter. Uh, yep, yep, yep. So I'm going to spend four off of Galadriel and Beeper. Play Host of Galadrim. Pick up all of these Sylvan allies, set my hand aside so I don't get confused. And I get to play them in basically any order that I want. Uh, some of these are irrelevant, so here's a handmaiden to draw my threat by one. Um, at this point, Greenwood Archer to ready Galadriel. Nath guide, so Beefer doesn't have to quest this round. Or exhaust a quest this round. Uh, Minstrel, look at top five. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I'm short one resource for another host of Galadrim, but I'll take tree people. That's pretty good. Put it in my hand. And the second Minstrel is going to come into play after I've shuffled this deck. And that's going to be the last Sylvan coming in, so host of Galadrim goes to the discard pile. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Only event is unlikely friendship, so we'll put that in. Now I could play a second host of Galadrim, though I'd rather save them if I can. Also, this is why I would probably never play this deck in a multiplayer setting, because uh, I'm still in planning, and we're going to be here for a little while. We've already been here for a little while. Just imagine if I had an extra Galadra Minstrel or any of that nonsense. Uh, let's play Galleon. Use Tree People with Galleon. Pick him back up. And go look for another Sylvan. Oh, please. Oh, come on. All right, well, I whiffed on tree people. That's <laughs> five events right off the top. Unfortunate, but I guess probably not the worst. So I can still unlikely friendship to draw a card, put a resource on Caliborn, play a defensive Sylvan that will tank treacherous Easterling. It's been so long that I can barely remember, but I have used Galadriel. Here's Galleon. Here's Unlikely Friendship to draw a card, put a resource on Hellborn. Ooh, okay. I have Feigned Voices, which is phenomenal. I think what I'm going to do in order to... should be fine. Just hold off on playing these allies save my leadership sylvans for whatever I actually need them for the most. Right? I have a Greenwood Archer, Nath Guide, I have this Greenwood Defender, and they're all a little suboptimal right now if I'm going to use Feigned Voices to feint the Treacherous Easterling. So let's be done with planning and move on to questing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Up against six. All right, we're gonna doomed one. Enemies cannot take damage, uh, but I do make eleven progress. Catacombs is cleared two locations so far. I reveal Servant of Sauron and uh, that surges into disappearances. All right, well, there goes all those leadership Sylvan that I was sort of banking on. 
as well as the second galleon. Um, well, that turned around very quickly. We'll travel to CD Tavern. Five of these, and I can choose what I want to deal with. At this point, I'm going to take under guard, actually, because we're going to clear CD Tavern before we reveal that card, and it's going to force me to get another location and add it to the staging area, which quite frankly seems really good since I've only got one location in play and I don't really want to travel there. Although it's not so bad now that I've lost all of the useful cards from my hand. I guess Orphan will come in handy once I find him. Uh, all right, and till the end of the round, enemies engaged with the first player cannot take damage. I'm going to assume that applies to both of these this round, unfortunately. Did Doom, so this guy should be at two resource tokens. This should technically be three. So let's move to combat. One, two, just going to make a big old mess of things. I will Feigned Voices pick up Galleon. Say Treacherous Easterling cannot attack this round. We'll use Elven King and return Minstrel to my hand. Easiest to play out of all of these and also potentially one of the most useful. So this enemy is not attacking. That evidence does nothing. I'll defend Servant of Sauron with Celeborn. We're hoping for no shadow effect. Attacking enemy gets plus two. All right. The Celeborn cannot defend anymore. He'll just die. And I got these enemies. Okay. We're going to refresh. I'm not going to get to 46 threat, most likely. Put on my card for the round, generate some resources. Interesting. Okay. Well, I drew a Galadrum healer. Help me peel things off. Um, play Galleon. Spend two to play a Minstrel. Look at the top five. Three, four. Five. Well, only event is Feigned Voices, which is pretty good. Oh, I think my questing is going to be a lot worse this time around. Uh, at this point, I don't have anything I can play aside from that. Let's think about questing. Send three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's three in the staging area pretty easily. So I'm going to exhaust Galadriel, draw a card, reduce my. Th That's actually pretty good. So spend two, one from Galadriel, pop in Defender of the Nath. He'll be able to defend this Servant of Sauron, have feigned voices for Treacherous Easterling. Assuming that nothing untoward happens again. Uh, so yeah, let's quest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Up against three, running out of places to put my hand. Disappearances takes out that healer and otherwise doesn't do anything too bad. Add uh, 14 up against three, so I make 11 progress. 
clears out CD Tavern. Uh, that adds one token here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I think we do this first. So uh, discard until I discard a location, which is another Catacombs, unfortunately. And I reveal the top card in Counter Deck. Shadow of Fear. All right. So any enemies that engage me are going to do extra threat. I think I'm okay with that. Okay, but I can't really afford to travel to either of these locations right now safely. Um, uh, but maybe I can. Travel to catacombs and clear. No, sorry. That's. I get an enemy off of catacombs. Pretty screwed. Whereas I get. Uh, if I lose feigned voices off of hillside manor, I might be okay. So I'll travel to the hillside manor will be the last encounter card. The last location I have to deal before we find the traitor. I do lose feigned voices, as unfortunately predicted. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to combat. Two shadow cards coming out. I can't faint, so this is fun. Uh, Defender of the Nath will defend Servant of Sauron. Hillside Manor is no shadow effect. Going to use Elven King. Pop Galleon back into my hand. Refresh Defender of the Nath. At this point, since that's six attack, I'm gonna defend with this minstrel. Attacking enemy gets plus one, seven attack, gross. She is dead. I have two, three, four, five, six, uh, which is just enough to kill the Servant of Sauron and unfortunately leave the other guy. And he has four defense. That'll be it for this round. All right, yep, draw a card. It's two, so three. One and one. Play Galleon, don't really have a choice. Uh, use Galadriel to draw a card. Use my threat by one. Elf Guide is really good, but I can't do anything with it right now. Uh, actually, that's not true. Elf Guide. Pick up Galadriel Minstrel. Put a resource. Elaborn. Replay the Minstrel. Hoping for an event. Five. Uh, yep. Post of Galadrim is about all I can do in order to pull myself out of this. It's not going to be as impactful as it otherwise would be. I, I only have one copy of all of these characters. There's some unfortunate challenges happening. Uh, but I guess we'll see. So we're going to spend four. Play host of Galadrim. Pick up all of these allies. Move my hand off to the side. Uh, Greenwood Archer readies Galadriel. Nath Guide chooses Beefer. Defender of the Nath does nothing. Galadriel's Handmaiden drops my threat to 24. Galleon, also nothing. And Minstrel searches the top five. Five. Three people is the best of those, because uh, I can recycle Galleon for free and hopefully get uh, Orphan or some other high-impact ally. So let's go. 
Uh, like I said, Tree People picks up Galleon. One, two, three, four, five. All right, will I get a healer or a handmaiden or a weaver? Technically, this is still resolving, so the card on top is going to be Host of Galadrim. Uh, yeah, so let's take Weaver to shuffle that back in. Much more impactful than anything else I'm going to get. Don't have any resources to play another one right now, but we shall see. All right, uh, let me replay Galleon, and I'm gonna start stacking up Sylvans because we've run out of room for all the unique varieties. Let's move on to the quest. I have currently two, three, four, five, six, nine, 10, 11, 15, up against five, uh, which seems pretty good. So let's just roll with it. All right, 14 up against five, 10 progress, clears out the hillside manor, reveals the top card, so that just surges. There's a side street. Puts a token on here. We're moving on to stage three. All right. 3A, we reveal a cultist and we shuffle the deck back together. So, a uh, random cultist for me is going to be Priest of Sauron. Put the cultist and the plots off to the side. Shuffle this deck back together, even though I don't have to reveal any additional enemies. Um, oh, cannot be optionally engaged. All right, cool. <laughs> Only got 14 thread to go before I, uh, before I can engage the Priest of Sauron. I, I guess at least I can just skip questing for a round or two. Maybe that'll be fine. All right, there's my encounter deck. I get to travel. Travel to side street, I get another location. Travel to catacombs, I might get another enemy. Uh, but odds are pretty good that I won't. And I have an entire board of allies. So let's travel to Catacombs. Do our best not to explore it. Discarding. All right, well, every time, every time, <laughs> Messenger from Mordor doesn't get revealed, at least. But now things are bad. Shadow card, shadow card, shadow card. Well, 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 well. I'll have Biffer defend this Greenwood Archer. No shadow effect there, so he takes one damage, I think. I'm not sure if Greenwood Archer keeps its stat boosts once it switches to be an enemy. Uh, but we got Messenger from Mordor swinging in for four. I'll defend with a three defense, Defender of the Nath. No shadow effect puts two damage there. Uh, and if I were smarter, I would have exhausted Caliborn so that I could ready him and ready this Defender, but I didn't. Uh, so at this point, I think I'll defend Treacherous Easterling with Galadriel's Handmaiden. 
If this attack destroys a character, resolve the travel effect. That's not an enemy, so no big deal there. Handmaiden is very dead, so Defender of the Nath readies. Uh, okay. I have access to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attack. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, which is enough to kill both of these and leave the Easterling. He needs nine to kill. So that's what we're going to do. Clear out both of those. Have to leave the Easterling and move on. So, uh, um, I would have used Elven King to bounce Galleon back to my hand, just because playing him is very useful. All right. Refreshed, did the thing, moving on. All right, Elrond's Council, you are literally counterproductive right now. Can't do anything with you. Play Galleon. Uh, there's nothing in my hand that I can use, so I am going to use Galadriel, even though I don't want to drop my threat. Nath Guide is nice to see, but not amazing. So I can't actually play the Nath Guide right now. I guess we're just going to go. I need to raise my threat by 14. Ah, I should have raised my threat by two more because of this Shadow of Fear. So sitting at 26 could be worse. For the quest this round, I will send two up against seven. Reveal another side street. So 8, 11 means I fail by 9. Uh, brings my threat up to 35. We're close. We are close. Can't travel. Failed to quest. All these things. Uh, at this point, end with a Galadra Minstrel. Got an attachment you control. Let's me get rid of Nenya, which I don't care too much about. Uh, Minstrel is very dead. I have two, three, four, five, which allows me to put one damage on the Easterling and ready Kettleborn to return Galleon to my hand. All right, take up to 36. Uh, now we're going to get eliminated at 43. I do need to make sure I make some, not progress exactly, but not, not progress. Uh, although honestly, like once I engage the Priest of Sauron, two six attack enemies every round, Nothing great to do against that. Oh, might as well Galadriel to draw a card. Play Unlikely Friendship to draw a card. Put a resource on Galadriel. None of this is really useful. Put Galleon into play. And one for a Weaver, shuffling Unlikely Friendship back in. Uh, which normally might clog up the deck a little bit, but since it's just a free resource, no big deal. Um, uh, uh, and two for a Healer. To Reduce a little bit of damage. And two for a second Nath guide, choosing Biffer. Yeah, none of this is great. 
Uh, but sitting up against 11 in the staging area, I can quest without exhausting 4, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 10. Up against 11 should be pretty solidly what I want. Please don't be an enemy. It's a hillside manor, so that is... I sent 10 up against now 14. I will raise my threat to 39. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Forced to engage, Priest of Sauron. Uh, shadow effect, shadow effect. Okay, so basically I'm fucked. Uh, but if possible, I would like to get four damage onto the Priest of Sauron. I'm gonna take an attack for six. I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight available to me. Uh, so I can lose two of that and be fine. So I'll defend healer against, uh, I guess we'll do priest first. Either raise your threat by two where attacking enemy cannot take damage this round. I'll raise my threat by two. Otherwise, there's literally no way I can win. Gladrum healer goes. Defend here. No shadow effect on that one, but Defender of the Nath also goes. And counting it out again, I have two, three, six. Allows me to put four damage on the Priest of Sauron. Uh, but I might thread out very soon. Actually, mm, I'm not gonna thread out yet. Ah, well, I guess I'll play an Elrond's Council for nothing. Uh, I can only reduce my threat by one each round because of this hillside manor, but that's okay. Moving to refresh, take up to 41 threat. Um, actually, I already used Galadriel. So I wouldn't have been able to do that that round anyways, so that puts me at 42. End of the round, Sauron Worship also is at now 42 threat elimination level. Uh, so despite the fact that I might have been able to squeak out one more round, Handmaiden wouldn't have been a bad draw. Uh, second one would have been Orifin, which might have been great. Sadly, it was not meant to be. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't actually read Priest of Sauron before. I started playing this quest. Uh, I've done testing a couple times and gotten the other villains, but having to be at 38 threat to engage a specific enemy is a little rough for a deck like this, where as you cycle through, as you play Host of Galadrim, uh, keep Galadriel's handmaidens going over and over again. Uh, honestly, most of the decks, or most of the plays, I was ending somewhere around 15 threat. Uh, so forced to go up kind of sucks. Having <laughs> to deal with this treacherous Easterling forever uh, definitely sucked. Oh, that's okay. I figure you all will not be too unhappy seeing me lose. At least the deck got to do its thing a couple of times. Oh, thanks for watching.